Today I'm talking about some summer fashion trends that nobody seems to be talking about, but they definitely deserve their time in the spotlight. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, hello. I'm so pleased that you've found me in my little corner of the internet. Now, today we are talking about summer fashion trends. And if you've been following me here for a while, you'll know that I love talking about trends. And in particular, I love focusing on some of the trends that don't seem to get that kind of mass market attention that they often deserve. So today I'm sharing some of my favorites and I'm absolutely sure there's going to be something here for everyone. And let me know in the comments below if you find or discover a new trend to love in today's episode. Oh, and I mustn't forget to say that I've also created a 50 page summer shoppable style guide. It's $4.99, it is available right now. I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can go and check it out. But essentially, I wanted to create a guide to help you navigate the new season and every single piece featured, you click on it and you will be taken through to the website so you can shop that piece. I've shown a whole lot of different outfit combinations and hopefully it inspires you to step out in style this season. As I said, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go and check that out once you've take a look at today's episode. Now this first trend is one that I didn't really see kind of getting the traction that perhaps some other trends get. I didn't sort of see this one as being universally flattering, but in fact, I've been proven wrong. And I actually think that this trend is far easier to wear than I first thought. So the trend is for wearing beautiful lace maxi skirts. And now just before you zone out and think this is not a trend for you, I'm gonna flick up some pictures here just to give you an idea of what this trend looks like. I've seen them being teamed with some just classic t-shirts, some interesting graphic t-shirts to kind of give the look that sort of high-low. It's an unexpected kind of pairing. So. When I think lace and long maxi skirts, I would traditionally think sort of evening wear, but taking them out of that sort of setting and creating an outfit that's a little bit more modern and interesting by pairing it with a graphic t-shirt or wearing a blazer, perhaps um, with a belted blazer over the top. Now, if you're worried about these lace maxis being a little bit too revealing, you can always wear a little slip that covers you to where you feel comfortable. But I think this is a great trend. It's a great trend for summer because of course, it's going to be easy, breezy and cool to wear. And it's just a little bit of fun. So think about teaming them with flat sandals or some trainers a simple tee or as I said a blazer. It's an interesting look and definitely more flattering and universally flattering than I first thought. Now I'm sure some of you will cringe when I say this but Hayley Bieber started this trend of wearing scarves, beautiful printed scarves tied over the top of a baseball cap. Now I know that this isn't going to be a trend that's right for everyone but I do think it's interesting and it's fun and if you don't like the idea of wearing the baseball cap underneath then scarves are happening in a very big way for summer anyway. I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of them out and about but yeah scarves worn as bandanas scarves worn around your neck just tied in your ponytail scarves are definitely making a comeback this summer season and I do think that they create a little bit of fun and add an interesting pop of color and print to an outfit so if you're going to go the the full Monty and wear one tied over a baseball cap, then that's great. It's gonna give any outfit a real modern update. But as I said, I know it's not for everyone, but certainly scarves and bandanas definitely are. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Squarespace. I have built a number of websites with them for various clients over the years. And my blog is a Squarespace website as well. Squarespace actually has some cool new AI features that help you start a completely personalized website with a new guided design system called Squarespace Blueprint. It also offers optimized SEO tools, so your website shows up more often in searches, which is what everyone wants to help them grow fast and be seen by more people. You can also sell products on a Squarespace website. And in fact, 
there's very little that Squarespace can't do. As I've said before, they probably can't pick your outfits, but I'm sure they're probably working on that too. But if you would like to launch yourself online this year, what I would suggest you do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of their free trial. When you are ready to launch yourself, then simply use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code, which is the style insider. And that will save you 10% off your first website or domain. Now I will leave a link to Squarespace in the description box below but definitely check it out if you are keen to create some sort of online presence this year now next up i'm seeing so much nature inspired statement jewelry and i have talked about statement jewelry really having a moment again this season but what i have seen is beautiful big sort of floral rings like beautiful big chunky statement silver rose rings and necklaces and chokers i've actually even seen some crocheted kind of flower chokers as well so there seems to be a real sort of floral but not just floral inspired a nat nature inspired statement jewelry trend i've even seen beautiful kind of coral looking necklaces and shell style earrings there's definitely a kind of a beachy natural theme to some of the statement pieces that we're seeing and of course i have talked in recent videos about mixing metals and how silver is making a bit of a return so don't shy away from silver if that is or silver look if that is a metal that you like and feel good wearing and if you are not sure you can team both together for a bit of a mixed metal approach but these statement nature inspired pieces are really going to make any simple minimalist outfit sing so we all know that good basics are the foundation of a hard-working wardrobe but sometimes the basics are quite boring to buy and it's because they are just pretty basic so that's why i'm excited that this season some of the basics are just getting a little bit of a extra zing added to them so it might be a slightly different button detail or instead of say a blazer buttoning straight down the front it might be kind of off to the side just some interesting design details added to those everyday essentials that we all need but sometimes they can just feel a little bit boring so keep an eye out for some of those classic kind of basic essential pieces that we all need whether it's wide leg pants or a nice blazer but with a slightly interesting detail just to kind of elevate them. Now, next up is the return of skorts. Now, I know that they're probably a staple for a lot of you when it comes to the warmer weather, but skorts definitely seem to be having a moment. And the fun thing about them is that often you just think someone's wearing a skirt. Now, I have actually even seen some skorts that are even midi length and knee length as well. So I think when I always kind of imagine a skirt, I think of something a little bit shorter, like almost kind of a tennis st style or length skirt, but that's not actually the case this season. There are a lot of skirts that are much longer, and I suppose that's kind of buying into the whole oversized Bermuda short trend, which leads in really nicely to the next trend that I'm seeing quite a lot of, and I didn't expect it, was denim Bermuda style shorts or jorts, jean shorts. <laughs> so I'm here for this. I think it's a really great trend. And of course, denim is a staple for most of us. And it's a great way to replace our, our classic or favorite pair of jeans when the weather gets warmer. So we can wear that denim piece on the bottom and create a multitude of different outfits by swapping out our tops and shirts and button downs. So I love this look, it's oversized and team it with a belt for a little bit more of a pull together look. But jorts are definitely here and the trend definitely seems to be more of a, an oversized fit. But obviously you can work with what is going to suit your style and your outfits. But jorts are a thing that I think we should get excited about this season. Now, this one is a little bit of a mini trend, but it's triple cuff earrings. Now, I particularly love the look of this because we've seen a lot of layering of necklaces and bangles and bracelets this season. And 
this type of earring almost kind of gives the look of a layered piece of jewelry but without doing any of the work now it's basically a dupe for the kite earrings i think they're called the julius the style i'll flick up an image here to show you but i think these earrings we're going to see more of them they definitely keep popping up on my instagram feed which i which is why i included them in today's episode I like them i think they're interesting and i'm on the hunt for a really nice silver pair just to kind of move my metals and start wearing a little bit more silver now this next trend that really doesn't seem to have had much time in the spotlight is tops with tie details so yes they're kind of a boho style top but they don't have to be. I've seen them teamed back with more structured pieces, whether they are denim shorts or denim jeans or a white denim skirt. These tops are just a kind of a whimsical feminine touch for summer. And I think that they're a nice departure from wearing just a classic tee. So the tie detail, originally what I saw and we kind of talked about when we were kind of predicting and seeing what was happening for summer, the ties were at the front of these tops. Now, since the season is basically here, there are lovely kind of vest style tops with tie detail down the side. There's also plenty of really cool, colorful, whimsical tops with the tie detail at the back. So the overarching trend seems to be tie detail on some of these lovely summery shirts and tops. Now this next one is going to be an exciting one for all of the magpies out there like me that enjoy a little bit of shimmer and shine and can't kind of resist it. Now that is the trend for wearing mesh knit. So I've seen a beautiful mesh knit style bomber jacket, tops, sets, dresses, you name it. Now we know that there's a big kind of trend for wearing crochet and knitwear this season and some of these metallic knit pieces are just a little sort of elevation of that. So they're a little bit special, they're a little bit interesting and will give a simple outfit a little bit of a wow factor too. And you can play around and have fun with the pieces that you wear underneath these mesh tops and skirts and dresses because that will kind of give them a little bit of a different look and feel as well. So don't be scared of these sheer pieces. Like I said, the same with the lace maxi skirts that I talked about first up. It is just about what you're wearing underneath and that kind of gives you some freedom to create some different interesting looks as well. So if like me, you love anything that shimmers and sparkles and shines, then take a look at some of these mesh knitted pieces. Now next up, I keep seeing the return of beautiful oversized tortoiseshell style sunglasses. Now I've actually got a couple of pairs myself, so I'll bring them out of hiding when the weather heats up here in New Zealand. But certainly these tortoiseshell oversized shades are having another moment in the spotlight. We did see them a couple of years ago, but they've kind of made a quick return. Now I'm not mad about it. I think that they are practical. Any sunglass style that is oversized is going to give you that sort of protection that I think we all need, but also create a little bit of a style statement without having to try too hard. And certainly I'm a huge fan of black sunglasses. I've got my favorites that I just wear all the time. But tortoiseshell is a little bit softer and kinder on our skin, especially if you are over 50 like me. So think about tortoiseshell as a really good option when it comes to eyewear this summer. Now, last but not least, there seems to be a lot of strappy, flat, metallic sandals. Now, in particular, there's a lot of gold around, but I have seen a number of really lovely strappy silver sandals as well which definitely makes sense given that we are seeing a return to jewelry that is more sort of silver toned as well but these strappy sandals are a nice departure from the ballet flats that i seem to have talked about quite a bit in my recent videos we all know that the mesh ballet flats are trending at the moment and if that's not a style that actually works for you then definitely take a look at some of these strappy metallic sandals because they are not only timeless sandals, they're going to just kind of 
be a sandal or a shoe that you'll be able to pull out season after season they don't date and they are super practical because they will work back with anything you wear they're a great neutral that is just a little bit softer and kinder than say a white or a black sandal and they just add a little bit of a wow factor to your outfit anyway that's it from me today i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did i'd love you to give it a big thumbs up oh and also i will leave a link to my shoppable style guide in the description box below if you would like to go and check that out and for less than a cup of coffee you can get a whole lot of guidance and help on navigating the new summer trends and what's going to be right for you anyway check that out it's in the description box below and i can't wait to see you in the next video bye for now